Hi everybody and welcome to episode 5 of my Minecraft Let's Play series. First up, I'd like to apologize for not uploading for a while. I uh, got really sick, but I'm all better now and we are ready to move on with the world. This world has been updated to 1.18, which means we have lots of new things to explore and new adventures to be had. I will be trying to upload new episodes every single week, so if you're enjoying the series, consider subscribing and maybe drop a like below if you're excited for the new episode. Let's get stuck into it. So with all of that said, I'm going to finish these chores. You may notice in this episode that I've got some cool new mods that are going to give us some fancy new graphics. But what we were up to when we left off a long time ago. Oh, you'll notice I've got better leaves and yellow birch on. I have turned the shaders off to help with the lag. It's killing me looking at, you know, default Minecraft shading. It's not very pretty and I am all about pretty but yeah I'm gonna get these chores done hopefully you'll see a really cool montage while I'm doing it Okay, so now that that is done, hopefully it looked really good. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of inventory checking. So my goal for this episode is to build a really nice starter house. I think we can still call this a cobble box. You know, it's not quite starter house worthy. This is like our let's hide in a cobble box. The cool thing is most of these resources I can get back. Except for the glass, obviously, we're going to need some more of that. So this episode, and the next, you know, bit of it, is resource gathering. I am looking at using spruce, obviously, because I've got so much of it. I'll need some more dark oak, so I'm going to head over to the dark oak forest. Ooh, I do have some sand. I wonder how much coal I've got. It's been a while since I played in this world, so I really can't remember what resources I've got. Let's have a look. Only two diamonds, not ideal, but obviously with the new world generation we can- Oh look, lots of coal. We can run down um, and get more diamonds while we're digging up some deep slate, which I want for this build. Oh, I've got obsidian. I'm doing okay, lots of iron. This is pretty good actually. As you can see, I have almost no blocks, not enough cobbled deep slate. Um. We may bring some andesite in. Let's have a look. I think I'll go with... Oh, because the world's updated, I get all my advancements again, which is pretty cool. So I think for the starter house, I'm going to go with a combination of... Well, not starter house, you know. This will be the house that gets us through to the end of the game. Stone. Maybe some cobblestone mixed in for texture. I'm going to need the andesite. Um... Cobble deep slate for the roofs, and I'm going to keep this theme right throughout all of my builds, hopefully. Still haven't fully decided on everything, but we're going to give it a go. Obviously, I've found a um, geode somewhere. I don't know where that is. Can't remember. We'll find it again. Oh, it's right down in the mine, actually, in the top of my mining area. All right, so we need to cook up some stone. I've got plenty of coal, but what I don't have is enough furnaces. Let's grab some more of those. Alright, that's cooking away. But first, let's go get some more resources because I have no cold deep slate. I don't have enough dark oak, which I really want to bring into the new builds. Where's our dark oak forest? 
think it's over the back there. I saw a red mushroom, so let's go that way. See what we can find. I've got a brand new axe because my other one broke while I was chopping down those spruce trees. There we go, dark oak. Righty, I think that's enough for now. Let's head back home. Alright, these are still cooking away so slowly. And oh, the glass is done. Let's move this out. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Thank you. Throw all the wood in this chest for now. Barrel, chest barrel. We're gonna do some mining. See if we can't get loads of deep slate. I don't need to take those. Oh, I've got some more glass in here. Uh, stuff everywhere. This is a mess. Don't look at this. Don't look. Don't worry, we'll sort it all out when we've got some more space to put it in. They can go there. Oh, just enough room. So, mining. As soon as my food is cooked. See if we can't find some new... Uh, stuff. Stuff? It's really not the right word. Alright, that should do us. Definitely should do us. I mean, if I run out of torches... Ooh, that's going to be an epic mining effort if I actually use all these torches. Alright, we got some food, got my water bucket, could probably grab a new shovel. I really like coarse dirt and I have seven gravel. Yep, we're gonna need another shovel. So into the mine, let's go. What's down here? What level are, are, are we? Eleven. Okay, so with the new world generations in 1.18, there are some different levels that we need to mine at. You can't just come down to level, level 11 or 12 or whatever and go nuts. That's not going to get you what you need. What we need to do is make a multi-level mine. And the first level needs to be at 16, which I think is ideal for iron. So let's punch out a hole right here and this will be our iron mining level then we're gonna head down 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 so my goals in this mining session is lots of cobble deep slate which I should be able to get just mining down to the new diamond level which is so far down um, iron obviously any iron I find along the way and diamonds would be great. I've actually only got two diamonds left, but right now we need to get down. Down, down, down. How far down? Hmm. We're gonna head down into the negatives. And I think is negative 58. Does that sound right? Is the new ideal diamond mining level. Hopefully my pickaxe will make it. Now let's talk about the new world generation in Minecraft 1.18. We now have to dig way, way down below Y level 0 to find diamonds. Each new ore now has an ideal level it generates at too. If we're looking for a lot of coal, we can head to Y level 95 to 96. Copper is mostly found at Y level 48, and when we want iron, it's best to mine at Y level 16. Gold can be mined around Y level negative 16, but the best place to mine diamonds is way, way down at Y level negative 58, which is where we're headed today. Oh, we hit some bedrock. Oops, I think we've gone too low. All right, and we forgot to put torches. All right, let's go back, 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 back before something spawns in here to kill me. Now, this is not a hardcore world, so I don't have to really stress so much about dying, but you know, I hate it. I hate it. I hate having to go back and get all my stuff. Like, can you imagine losing my diamond pickaxe right now? Oof, this staircase. Hideous. I promise I'll fix it later. I always do. Because I can't stand this. Alright. Let's punch ourselves out a hole.
That's a nice hole. Alright, let's start mining. I'm just going to strip mine. I think it's the easiest way to go. I just don't want to line it up with the stairs. I'm doing it again. Please don't come at me, lava. We better find a diamond. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. There's a lot to. Yay! And I get the advancements again. Yes, I have already got diamonds. They're in my hand, but world updates means advancements have all reset. And I think all my statistics will have reset as well, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, it's like starting again without starting again. All right, I'm happy now. Got my diamonds. I can relax a little bit. My inventory is very close to full, which means we've got a lot of deep sleep. All right, this pickaxe is getting really low. But I've got enough diamonds now to make another one. So I'm just going to keep digging until this one breaks. And I'll try to remember to place the torches. Look at me placing a torch. All right, 143. We are halfway through the durability left on this pickaxe. Let's stumble upon some diamonds would be great. Thank you. Ooh, gravel. I want that. Now let's run back down the giant tunnel. And go home. That's a lot of cold deep slate. Fantastic. Right, I shouldn't be putting this in here. I should be moving this outside. But that's cool. It's all good. This stuff I'm going to put in here just for now to keep it safe. Da, 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 da. And I need more storage. Which is the whole reason why we were building a new house to begin with. Please don't be any mobs. All right, we have ooh, some stone. I think I'm going to need more than that. Let's get some more cobblestone to cook up. And then, oops, time to start moving all this stuff out. This is really pretty area in the background. <clears throat> like I can wake up every day and walk out and see those mountains and that would be fabulous. So there's a random hole here that I can fill in, but I think this little space here is going to be where I throw down my house. I've then got all of this space out in front here to put more stuff in. The barn can go right up there against that hill, which is going to be really cute to leave this pathway over to the mine. This is all going to get blocked up. We don't need that. There's nothing in there. I don't know what's up behind here. Probably not much. Nope, just a hole. Looks like a really cute spot for another farm. So this is where we are building. I've got all of this space, there's nothing in there, and this space, which is a really big area for a new house. Uh, I've got some junk. Now, I think I'm gonna use some cobblestone on the bottom layer. I'll need spruce now and I do need that stone but I'm going to get the layout I want first I think and then come back and texture it with the stone or use the stone on the upper layers so it's going to be more broken down blocks towards the bottom and then as we go up we're going to move into the smoother blocks which will be a combination of the stone maybe andesite which looks somewhat smoothish and have a gradient going all the way up maybe throw some stone bricks in there too just just to make it a bit pretty but we'll see so I think 
right now is a great time to throw in a time lapse. What do you reckon? With my fancy new mods that I've got, we'll see how we go. I don't actually have a full plan in mind for this, so I'm just gonna wing it a little bit. Okay guys, it has been a long, long building process, but I've done, I've done a lot. As you can see, I've done a lot. It is still not decorated. So this is just the bare shell, to be honest. It's very bare. It's completely empty on the inside. There is no flooring. Um, the tower is in. I don't know if you can see it from down here. Oh, you can just see it poking up there. It needs its roof finished off. We need windows. We've got a lot to do yet, but it's getting there. There has been a lot of progress. We need to finish the chimney. Right now, I think I'm going to make some doors because I don't have enough. I want to check out the inside of the house and just show you the space I'm working with in there. So let's grab that. Um, glass planes panes planes oh my gosh look it's been a long build okay I have been here for nearly three and a half hours now collecting materials and just building this epic enormous starter house which I love I forgot to mention that like five times now I love this build it has been a lot of fun it's really pretty it's very much my style you know it's it's fantastic when stuff comes together exactly how you picture it in your head and sometimes it's just 
doesn't come out right. This is not one of those times. This is one of those times where I am very happy to say that that's exactly what I was going for. So I am stoked. This is what the inside looks like. And of course, I haven't decided on the flooring yet, but I think maybe, maybe dark oak. Um, every other one. And I might go with some stripped spruce in between. I wonder how that's going to look. Let's just have a quick looky there. And strip it. Yeah, that makes it a little bit brighter. Gives a bit more variation with the really dark planks and then the really bright logs. I am loving it. So the whole ceiling is going to be filled in with that, which will also make the floor for the second floor, which is going to be pretty epic if I do say so myself. So this is going to make the flooring of the second floor. We've got little pop out bits on that side. We've got a little pop out level on that side. It's just looking fantastic. There is a secret window up there. That's not a secret, but that will be, you know, maybe something I may make a way to get up there. May not. We'll see. But for now, sleep and then finish off the roof. I'm waiting for some copper to smelt. All right, that's looking pretty chunky now. I like it. Um, it does obviously need so much more decorations yet. So what I need to do is maybe Maybe dark. No, let's stick with the spruce. Let's go spruce stairs, make some little arches up in the top of the windows. Um, pretty much the same as what we did down here. Same, same, but a little different. Okay, guys, it has been quite some time since I left you, and I have been basically detailing the entire outside of the building, which is almost done. I could probably add a few more trapdoors up on the top level there, but this is how it's looking. We definitely need some trapdoors. Hey, hello. I'm thinking right there. Um, trapdoors on the bottom and maybe some buttons at the top. We'll see how we go. I think uh, stone buttons or, you know, whatever, cobblestone buttons, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, can get would look fabulous in there so I have put these little covers over the windows they're not fabulous but you know it's cute it's cute it's really thick and chunky it's probably the best way to describe this build which may not sound appealing but you know I like it I like it a lot I'm really happy with how it turned out it's still got a lot to do like all of hey I wasn't talking to you. Just go away. Thank you. I mean, that was harder than it should have been. Um, decorate all of the outdoor areas. Oh, I threw some flowers down, but gardening in there. So some bushes, some tall grass. I think I really like the puzzle here in this area. So I think I'm going to make like an outdoor, outdoor work area. Pretty much like it is now, but just rearrange it all a little bit. Obviously, I still need some bricks to finish this up. And you can see the big, big hole in the top of the roof there. I still need to do the fascias for the roof, but I've got to get the floor in on the second floor so I can actually reach that. Um, this needs a little outdoor area for the back door there. I think everything over this side is basically done. Um, yeah, I ran out of food. I've been backwards and forwards collecting more spruce, which I ran out of. So this is like third generation spruce forest growing there again. Missing just a few tiny little bits and pieces, like a block here and there where I just forgot to put it on. I guess I don't really have much excuse. I think I may put buttons on there. We'll see. I, I think buttons on these pillars would look better. So yeah, a few blocks missing. Not a whole lot. Um, 
tower still needs its copper in the roof windows up there for that but yeah it's it's coming along really nicely I'm really really pleased with how it's going so far let me just quickly run around oh there was a door there but we'll go to the front door and let's have a look inside now the floor is done in this half of the building this floor I think I want cobblestone because that's the crafting area where the furnaces will be so I think a stone floor or cobblestone or some kind of mix of the two will look great in there and the staircase it's very tight but it works there's a landing and the second floor flooring is done this looks fantastic with the strip spruce um, need to fill in a lot of the gaps here and the fascias up the top there but yeah it's nearly nearly done I'm gonna say it's nearly done but yeah I'll get back to work and then show you all again shortly hey no ho oh, no 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 I do not want you blowing up my brand new house where did you come from obviously need a few more torches around here let's see if I can lure him out this way uh, let's get the iron sword and you know what let's just smash no 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 way come on no <laughs> I have a sad I just did fixed all this oh why okay I have got everything moved out of the old house all the chests all the barrels all empty so now it's obviously dark again then all I need to do is pull the house down and gone done so I think it might be time for a cinematic view let's let's throw some shaders on and have a look at this house Let's get outside while the sun's shining. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let's have a look at it from this angle. Yep, it's pretty from over here too. Oh, this is adorable. This is absolutely gorgeous. I am so, so, so happy with today's build project. I feel like that roof could have been a little bit pointy. Uh, I think it'll look better from higher up. We are pretty low down. Oh yeah, the roof definitely could have been a little bit steeper, more pointy, but you know, it is what it is. That was every bit of copper that I had, so It'll do for now. I can see a trap door might be missing. Over there. Maybe not. But I love this. Love it. Let me know what you think of the build in the comments. I mean, this has been a massive effort for me. It's taken... We're coming up on six hours now to get this done with collecting all of the resources and everything so this episode has been a huge effort to make but this I love it I absolutely love it so you can see out this window hopefully you'll have a good view in the next few weeks over the next few episodes we'll get something built up out there uh, what else definitely out this window too I have so much space out there do so much stuff with and from here you can see the beehive which is freaking adorable outside here this will be a little crop field and yeah just you know let me know if you want to see some more builds like this I'm gonna keep building them anyway but if you don't want to see them I guess don't watch if you do want to see more maybe give this video a like if you want um, definitely probably subscribe if you want to know when I post more obviously I very inconsistent with uploading my videos but I'm a busy girl they'll get done when they get done and they'll be finished when they're finished but yeah I think in the next episode I'm definitely starting on the animal barn which is going to go back up against this hill 
So from here out, leaving a lot of space over this side and lots of space on this side. Um, we need to, well, something needs to be done with the mining hole, but you know, that's another job for another day. For now, I think I'm going to leave you all alone. Thank you.